What's going on everybody? It's me Fatal. I just wanted to bring you a video here of our trip down to Atlanta for the KDM reunion. Now this trip lasted for about two days. So on the first day we had met up with everyone uh, for KDM reunion and then the second day we went to Caffeine and Octane. Now the second day is the day that was filled with all of the events basically. Uh, we saw so many different cars and so many different things were going on like at one point in time i think a tv show was being recorded uh but really the main reason we had gone down there was for the kdm reunion even though the star of the show ended up being the caffeine and octane funny enough uh but at the kdm reunion there was a decent amount of genesis coupes now as you can see the majority of cars that were there were Kias. Now Kia Fortes actually. Uh, Kia Forte Coupes is what was there. You had the Coupes, you had the Velocers, the Hyundai Velocers, and then you also had the Genesis. Uh, now when we had got there it was a decent show up but over the time the parking lot just kept getting more full and full and full to the point where we filled up two parking lots. Uh, it was kind of segregated. So down low, we had the Kia Fortes. Uh, next to those, or across from those, rather, we had the Velocers. And then up on the top tier, we had actually had all the Genesis Coupes. Now, there were a whole bunch of different flavors of cars. You had super track versions of cars, just like daily drivers, which only had a few things done to them like my car nothing too special just like a few customizations uh we had full one full right style car which was actually kind of funny he had lights and everything on his car unfortunately my batteries had died because all the batteries for my osmo are they don't they don't hold power that well unfortunately but for the genesis turnout the genesis turnout was actually a nice that that one had the best mix uh that they had Unfortunately, we did have the one racer in the group, but uh, the Genesis turnout was, I would say, one of the most diverse. Uh, we had everything from what my car was, which like, was close to stock, basically just exhaust and a few interior things, even though I am the only one who had our interior or the interior painted, which was really nice. Um, but moving on to Caffeine and Octane, that's where the show really got started. So the only thing that kind of sucked is the fact that when we pulled up after about five minutes, it started pouring down rain. We all sat in our cars for about 30 to 45 minutes just waiting for it to slack up. Finally it did, so we got out and started looking at cars. Now the first car that we saw set the tone for the entire evening. We saw a Viper ACR. Now this thing was absolutely beautiful. It had a gigantic wing on the back and it was murdered out. Blacked out windows, black rims. It was all black. The only thing I wasn't a big fan of was that offset racing stripe that was kind of grayish. But I mean, it's an ACR, and ACR is an ACR. It's fast as fuck for like no reason. Now, my only gripe about this entire thing is that my camera was still broken, so I had to go out and buy a GoPro, and audio on GoPros is not that great. Who would have thunk it? But anyway, at the audio goes in and out from time to time. Funny and the Osmo camera no, no, kept no, no, dying no. on me, so that kind of like sat that. in my car like for a little wing. So just bear with me on that. If, if the audio gets yes. better, I promise. I like I like this wing though, and it's adjustable. What? 
the wing. It is a newer one. Yeah. Oh my god, there's an Alpha Red Male. Alpha. There's two of them. One wet, one dry. Excuse me. Test drive not available. You got an Alpha Male 4C. It's really nice. That other bike for the shark. Yeah, that other Viper was really nice. Got another Viper. Uh, this is the Julia, I think. Yes, Alfa Alpha Romeo Julia. This one's really nice. No, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Romeo, Maserati, Alfa Romeo. Ferraris. That other one is right. It looks like we're not going to see any super exotic cars. That's an R8. That's an older one, but that's an R8. Oh, uh, Julia sounds so nice. <laughs> Alright. There's the NSX. They probably have face models. Alright. It looks like. Got the NSX. This is even lower than the vet, which is funny. So you got a classic Lotus and then a track Lotus. Side by side. This thing is so tiny. <coughs> Those seats look so uncomfortable. <laughs> they barely look like seats. No it's way. a track car though, so it's a track car. Huh? He legitimately has band-aids on his bumper. I like that. It's a track car. It's not meant to be comfortable. It's meant to be fast. <laughs> You got some low tie, and then two Ferraris sitting side by side. White. You got the 488. I love that diamond stitching on the leather. So nice. Oh, we got an open. 4C. Yes. Oh my god. It's over. That is so nice. it's like waiting for them to build a Look at all that carbon fiber. Oh my god. Carbon fiber does. It's so nice. I'll be back. Uh that's bay. I said, that's bay. That's big. That's bay. Got a 911 turbo. Oh my god, those calibers are clean. I got the car seat in the other side. 911. Dude, I've never seen cleaner calibers on a car. That is ridiculous with the center lock wheels. Running Pilot Super Sports like you should be if you're driving this car. Where is a GT? Oh, here we go, a GT4. This is the thing that I'd be driving uh, for the warm-ups, the GT4. So nice. Dude, all these Porsches have the cleanest calibers. Tinted out. Oh, by the way, this is an electric car, or hybrid car. Oh, it is? Yes, it has solar panels on the roof. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, I need to get a close-up of that. Yeah, I'm trying. Down to the car, man, below. 
<laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. It takes all those batteries to power this thing? Yeah, he'll, he'll have that too. Otherwise, otherwise, the amps will die down. It's all just to keep the amps going. <laughs> uh, I've got one JLW7, and I've got two batteries in my car, and it barely keeps up. <laughs> oh. it, it doesn't hit like this, but it rattles everything in my heart. I mean, like... You, you can't see in it. It'll make you uncomfortable. Depending on what you play, it'll hurt you so bad you, you're uncomfortable. <laughs> I can only imagine driving around with this. Like that. And there's another rack right here, too. Oh, oh okay. So, 21 batteries. Another deep cycle. It just keep up with the amps. That's the only way to go. They don't make Car. Yeah. Dude. Over on the other side now. Not a big Jeep guy, but this thing is nice. It is very nice. By far the cleanest Jeep I've seen. And then we have this little unique guy with the puddles in the... Uh, got a V8. It's like the cleanest thing ever. Oh, he threw some rags in there. There's not any puddles in it. I was checking this thing out earlier and there were puddles sitting in the bottom of the uh, car. So I think the other thing I want to show is the Supra sitting over there. So over there, all the way over there you have classic land with all the classic cars. Yep. You got the Shaguar right there. Austin Powers mode. S4 was rolling in. Getting in people's shots. The fact that Atlanta has this event like every weekend is crazy. Caffeine and Octane was by far like my best car experience. Uh, well, at this point in time at least uh, but we saw a lot of very unique cars cars that you didn't see every day it would have been impossible for me to s to record every single car that i've seen so the main ones that i recorded i thought were the best of show for the most part or at least the things that you wouldn't see every day this corvette on the other hand is kind of a little bit biased and that's only because i like red so a red and gray or red black and gray themed car i kind of can't resist not recording it especially one that incorporates so much carbon fiber on the inside but hey it's it's whatever um this car was definitely one of my favorites uh i would have to say that the other favorite would have been the mercedes gt twins now you had the gtr here and this was in like that electric green like the staple gtr that you see the admg gtr uh, but this this car was absolutely amazing. I tried to get another shot of it because they lifted up the hood, and this hood went literally straight 90 degrees up in the air. This thing stood taller than me, and I'm six foot four or uh, six foot three. I don't know why I lied about my height there for a second, uh, <laughs> but it stood taller than I did. Uh, and then to the right of it, you had its little brother, the uh, GT, just the regular one, but still. I'd, I'd be happy to have either one, but this one was just as beautiful. Uh, the color wasn't as unique, but I mean, they're, they're twins, basically. Uh, I really liked it, but my absolute favorite car would have to go to 
the Rolls Royce that's hiding off there in the back. Now this is literally the craziest, most expensive Rolls Royce you've ever seen. I could go down all the specs and everything I've, I was told about the car, but it would be a lot better if I just let the guy tell you about the car. She's the uh, 06 Phantom. She's fully bulletproof all the way around to level three. She's a 19 foot model. She's a V12 6.75 double aspirated under the hood. It's awesome, man. Thank you. <laughs> She's worth about 850. Woo! Woo! That's too expensive. In two years, she'll be worth uh, a, a million. They stopped making these in 14. Oh, did they? Yeah. So they now make the Wraith and the Dawn. That's badass, dude. That is, that's, until that's, it does nice something like that. Right I like that, uh, that thing. Um, so, yeah, so every year now, her price just goes up. Not very many cars that as no, they No, the age. only reason it does that is because these they don't even make one until you order it. And then when you order it, it's all done by hand. All right, guys. We had a lot of fun today seeing some crazy cars, some interesting cars, and some rare cars. Oh, there we go. Had some interesting cars, some rare cars, a lot of good cars. Any words for the... Uh, any words for the day? <coughs> Any words for the day, sir? No, that's good. No, no comment. Okay, no comment. Uh, he's too important to answer you guys. So, <laughs> had a lot of fun on this trip. Mainly today. Uh, yesterday was, eh, wishy washy. But you know, first times for everything. It can turn out like that. Um, so we're just gonna walk back to the car, go home, or to the hotel room and get some well-needed and deserved sleep. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.